Hi guys, well, 2023 is over and we thought we might do a little recap video for you explaining what we did. We started the show in mid-2022. We wanted to talk about film. We love film. We're both filmmakers. We worked together for over 13, 14 years and we thought, yeah, let's do a show. Let's talk about what we love. It tanked. Nobody wants to hear about film from us. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear about film from a couple of old guys. We started venturing into uh, reacting to music videos. When we started out, we were doing uh, reaction videos as well, uh, but we were reacting to, uh, to film trailers and we were also doing film reviews. And uh, yeah, we, we just didn't connect with a film audience, which is why we kind of moved to music where, where we just kind of hit it off with you guys, with the audience. Uh, both in the way of views and comments and, and everything else. So we decided to kind of concentrate on that area, uh, which is kind of where we are now. Uh, being filmmakers, we're still hoping to make some content to do with film, but uh, yeah, we're not uh, exactly sure yet as to uh, what that's going to look like, but that's going to potentially be coming up in 2024. We'll see. Yeah, we found we had a lot to learn and a lot to say about music. I personally found, I think Itai will share my opinion on this. We discovered many bands and many talented musicians that we might not have discovered if it weren't for the show. And we have learned a lot about those bands and artists from the audience who have taught and are teaching us a lot about what they know. Neither of us is a musician nor a music critic. Uh, but we do have a few good decades between us of music listening and we've been to many concerts. So we thought our insight uh, while reacting to music, might uh, contribute something to our audience. Let me put this question to you, Asaf. Um, how do you feel we've uh, improved since we started? I mean, we are now over 250 episodes in, and uh, the episodes have changed since we started. How do you see that part? When we first started out, we had a little clue to what we're doing. We were just listening to songs and reacting to them. We didn't even have uh, sufficient technical abilities to present the episodes uh, as, as we would have wanted. That came later. We improved our uh, gear and our uh, abilities to edit and to uh, address the songs. And also the way we looked at songs. Being that we're both filmmakers and script writers, we thought that we might have some insight from the visual point of view and from the written word. So when we react to a music video or even a live performance, we try to react to it as if it were a short film because we enjoy identifying certain elements in songs and, and even recognize thought processes as well as subtext and hidden meanings. Yeah, that's the most fun ones, actually. We like layered text. That's been a lot of fun for us. It's things that we talked about that I don't think neither of us would ever think to talk about or to recognize had we not done this show. We found that reacting to music and listening to music or just watching a music video are two completely different things. Yeah. And... Uh, and that actually really helped. I mean, it was kind of discovered by accident uh, along the way. But uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, it's been a lot of fun, that's for sure. Yeah, I can give an example of a one band that, I can, that stands out to me. I've listened to Nightwish since I was in my 20s. And only when we started reacting to their songs did I find out that a lot of their things that they write, I had no idea how deep it goes. I knew the general uh, intent and I knew their music, I knew their style, I even knew their lyrics, but I didn't know the meaning behind it. I, I never thought to try and analyze it as I did on the show. It just broadens the mind, I think. Well, also the fact that we're both in our 40s now, um, you know, as compared to, you know, say in our 20s when we first heard some of these songs, um, that, that makes a difference. Life experience comes into it as well. Yeah, we're old. But yeah, in the last year plus of doing this, we've uh, actually also made connections with some of you, some of the audience um, through comments and otherwise. We are not quite YouTubers as yet. We don't do this full time. We are kind of struggling to even do it part time, both keeping day jobs and paying bills. So we opened up the uh, uh, buy me a coffee option for people who wanted their requests bumped up. So basically they would you know, donate a few dollars and uh, we would bump up the songs. And through there, we've actually made some interesting connections with people, which we really appreciate. Uh, so we wanted to actually give these people a bit of a stage here and uh, name our top five contributors so far on the show. So without further ado, I'll just um, let you know who they are. We've um, put together a top five according to the amount of requests and uh, all the connections we've had with these people, basically, um, you know, through both platforms, through Buy Me A Coffee and through YouTube. And um, we've also had some who have made uh, private requests via PayPal, but that's a different story. Um, so yeah, we'll start off with our fifth, who's a, a fairly recent one, who's been a lot of fun for us because her requests tend to be of older music. Um, mostly 80s, a lot of fun stuff, and that is 
Myson Men, who is our uh, uh, fifth top contributor for 2023. Um, and we just want to say thank you, Myson Men. We have really, really appreciated um, having you as part of the show. Uh, and we hope it will continue in 2024. Yep. Thank you, Mice and Men. All of your requests were tremendously enjoyable to react to. Yep. A lot of fun. Um, we actually don't have a number four because we have a tie at number three. And tying at number three are two uh, uh, very, very awesome uh, uh, requesters from our audience who have both been requesting mainly uh, Japanese artists and introduced us to a lot of really, really cool music that has been awesome fun. As a tie at number three, we have Homno and Artunes. Both have been absolutely fantastic with their requests. And uh, again, we hope to, to get many, many more from you guys because they have been a lot of fun. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you, guys, for uh, introducing us to Guitar Expand. Among others. <laughs> a lot of guitar spin requests yeah. came yeah. from those two. Absolutely. Yeah. At number two, we have actually uh, someone whom uh, we have made the most sort of personal connection with over time. Um, he has introduced us to many, many new acts, many, many uh, incredible songs, just fantastic music. Someone who really, really knows their stuff and has uh, basically shared their experience with us musical experience, and that is Dan W60. Uh, Dan has been absolutely awesome, and uh, we are hoping that uh, this, this sort of connection slash friendship uh, will continue into um, 2024. Thank you, Dan. You are awesome. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Uh, you seem to know us very well. I don't know how, but every request you make hits just right. Absolutely. Yeah, we seem to have a lot in common with Dan. Yeah. Um, a number one Buy Me A Coffee contributor for 2023 Another awesome one who has mainly sent us, uh, uh, I guess, uh, Japanese music as requests has been absolutely awesome. And that is a J Metal fan. Thank you, J Metal fan. We appreciate you so, so much. And we hope it will continue in 2024. Awesome requests. Yeah. Thanks, J Metal fan. Thank you for familiarizing us with all those wonderful Japanese bands. So, yeah. We just wanted to put up a list of uh, of all our contributors through Buy Me a Coffee and uh, uh, privately through PayPal, just to show our appreciation uh, for helping support the show. Uh, we are hoping that it will continue to grow and eventually we will make the move into this full time. So we'll be able to release daily episodes for you guys. So thank you to everyone on this list. You guys have been absolutely amazing and you guys are the reason we are still here for now. So thank you very much, guys. Thanks, guys. So as a treat, in wrapping up 2023, we thought we would give you guys our top 15 most viewed songs for the year. Just uh, for you guys to get a bit of an idea of which songs were the most popular. And uh, yeah, and we'll see what happens in 2024. Okay, so at number 15, we have Love Bites. Um, this band was introduced to us through this show and has been absolutely amazing, has become one of our favorites. And the song is Edge of the World, number 15. At number 14, we have an Australian artist whom we hope to have introduced to some of you guys who have not known her before. That is Casey Chambers with Lose Yourself, an Eminem cover she did live, which was absolutely amazing. At number 13, we have also one of our favorite bands, um, Ghost, Mary on a Cross. Awesome song. At number 12, we have Nightwish with what we uh, have heard since is one of the biggest and most reacted to songs on YouTube, which is Ghost Love Score. At number 11, we have, who are possibly my favorite band, Ningen Isu, another Japanese band, absolutely amazing, with uh, potentially my favorite song of theirs as well, Heartless Scat. Absolutely fantastic. It's the first one we reacted to of theirs. Yeah, it was the first Ningen Isu song we reacted to. And uh, yeah, let's go into the top 10. At number 10, we have... Nightwish again with Song of Myself, another amazing song. At number nine, Love Bites again. <laughs> Love Bites make quite a few appearances on this list. And this time at number nine, A Frozen Serenade. Fantastic song. At number eight, Love Bites again with Winds of Transylvania. Absolutely fantastic. At number seven, a band we've been introduced to fairly recently, um, who I feel we should have known before, but we just didn't. That is The Warning. And the number seven song is Disciple. Absolutely awesome. At number six, we have Nightwish again with Romanticide. I believe that is the top Nightwish song on the list, which is a little bit surprising, but definitely deserving. I love this song. At number five, 
we have again love bites with the most uh, uh, viewed song from them for the year which is swan song fantastic song again yeah. at number four we have bandmate with the first appearance in the top 15 but not their last appearance on the list with freedom freedom is number four at number three we have a song that actually we've covered fairly recently and has just basically bulleted up the list ren with high ren yeah absolutely amazing at number two we have bandmate with the top song on this list and it was the first song we ever reacted to from them which is domination fantastic song at number one the first and only appearance on the list is at number one and that is the awesome wagaki band with wow. homura akatsuki no ito which is our number one song by a fair distance, actually. So yeah, fantastic list of songs that we have greatly enjoyed covering. <laughs> what a journey. Yeah, it, it has been. It has been a fantastic journey. It's been a wonderful journey ever since we started this in mid-2022. And up until now, we can't wait to see what 2024 will bring. We love reacting to music. We love getting acquainted with new bands. We love you, our audience. We're very grateful for having uh, learned so much uh, and uh, uh, realizing how much more we have to learn. It's just a wonderful thing to be a part of. It, it has been an, an amazing uh, uh, process, an amazing journey. And we are very thankful to all of you out there who have basically helped us do this um, because again without you there would be no show i keep saying that but um, you know it is absolutely true we hope that uh, uh, you know at the end of 2024 we'll do another one of these hopefully we'll refine it some more <laughs> we'll get better at it um, but yeah just for a bit of fun for you guys um, just to see how the year went and uh, yeah look ahead to 2024 hopefully um, a brand new list of songs a brand new additions i guess to to our already awesome contributors list and some some awesome stories from uh, another full year doing Babylon here on my indie productions so again thank you guys very very much we appreciate you more than you know and we hope yep. to see you back um here for our next episode um this one will obviously not count as an episode as such it'll be, just be a little bit of a special thank you oh so much for everything you've done for us so far and we hope it will continue um not just in 2024 but many many years to come yeah. thanks a lot guys yeah and if you like our stuff hit that subscribe button yeah and share and uh, again hit us up on buy me a coffee put in some requests and uh, yeah hopefully we can grow together so yeah. thank you very much guys we'll see you again very very soon bye for now bye guys